Chapter 149 Strong thunderbolts from the sky are striking the poor dragon egg, but this dragon egg is quite resilient, showing no signs of damage, which is excellent. The lightning from the sky refuses to stop, still furiously striking down, tearing apart space. No entity can exist under this power, its millions of volts. The nine-tailed fox had approached the egg, but had to stop immediately due to the terrifying lightning. She didn't want to get hit at all, as it would be a fatal blow. But she started to worry like crazy. At this rate, the egg will be ruined, her face deeply wrinkled. But at this moment, the consciousness of the divine tree had contacted the nine tails. The divine tree told her not to come anymore. The egg will be fine. Let the thunder cleanse its bloodline. To become a true dragon, it will soon break the shell and fly out. Indeed, the eggshell had started to show signs of cracking. Is it like a boiled chicken egg? Of course not, because the thing inside this egg is still alive. Believe in the credibility of the divine tree. And so, the nine tails left this deadly area, letting the egg follow its destiny. In a dense forest far away, it seems to be a peaceful forest at first glance, but this land seems to have been cut in half. This is the third of the four great kings of the mountains, belonging to the tiger clan. It is at the transcendent second order. Under its claws, dozens of foxes had their eyes rolled back, lying dead on the ground in anger. The third tiger king with a ferocious face roared, Ha ha, that fox clan, why don't you obediently hand over the divine flower? Wouldn't it be faster? Do you have to witness your entire clan being slaughtered to be satisfied? At this time, the black and white fox pair leading their fox clan are fighting against the tiger clan. They are already covered in injuries. These two foxes we have seen before, they are from the same clan as the nine tails, once planned to participate in the war for the divine flower. But in the end, they were lucky not to participate and preserve their forces. It seems this time they are not so lucky. The black fox said third. You should understand, that divine flower is the most precious treasure of our clan. We have waited for so many years. How can we give it to you? Despite the disadvantageous situation, the black fox is still very tenacious. Not only that, the members of his clan are also very brave, not afraid of the strong enemy. The third great king of the tiger clan had lost all patience, and roared, Then this death is what you brought upon yourselves. Immediately, all the mutant tigers rushed up, their heroic momentum unstoppable. The black fox also went mad, shouting loudly, All that needs to be said has been said. Immediately, all the remaining members of the fox clan also rushed up with fierce red eyes. It was a battle for survival. Foxes are naturally gifted for disobedience, and they often represent enchanting magic or some kind of mystical magic. It can be said, their strength is magical power. For the nine tails it is a strange factor, possessing pure fire magic. Returning to this battle, both sides rushed into each other determined to win or lose. But clearly it was a physical battle. It can be said, the fox clan seemed to have used everything they had to confront. And now, they only have this body left. But physical strength is absolutely not their strength, but that of the tiger species. Every blow of theirs is fatal. The outcome of this battle seems to have been determined. The tiger king raised his claws, and a member of the fox clan immediately fell down, not only physical strength, but also the enhancement of a second-order mutant creature. The black fox was hit, coughing up a mouthful of fresh blood. It seems that the blow just now was really strong penetrating into the internal organs, maybe the lungs were crushed. The white fox seeing this shouted, Big sister. Oh, is the black fox female? But the tiger king is very warlike, his right foot stepping on the black fox, the tail is also very flexible, hitting hard on the face of the white fox. The blow was like a sky strike, the white fox flew tens of meters away, fresh blood could not be held back and overflowed from the mouth. Seeing the two leaders of the fox clan had fallen, the tiger king smiled triumphantly. Ha ha, just need to finish you off and it's done. Everything is as good as settled. Look, all the members of your clan have been wiped out by us. Indeed, looking at the members of his clan, the black fox saw that all were being overwhelmed and wiped out. The tiger king disdainfully lifted the black fox up with one hand and said, With a body like yours, you want to defeat me? 
The competition between races is based on teeth and claws. Body size is the deciding factor, understand? Well said, third brother. It seems we have found a new military genius, the third of the tiger clan, can be on par with Australitha's strategic level. Seeing her big sister about to be strangled, the white fox, although in extreme pain, still mustered all her strength to shout, Stop! Just one second, the black fox will really die. But, at this very moment, a streak of light slid across the arm of the tiger king that was choking the black fox, then blood spurted out. Whose blood was it? It was the blood of the tiger king, but it was too fast, he didn't feel anything. The arm of the tiger king had fallen to the ground, and the black fox was also let go, falling to the ground. Golden Ent is the hero in this situation, he calmly said, You just said that body size is the key determinant of victory, right? Golden Ant stood on a rock as high as a foot. His wings gently flapping to balance his body indeed cool, he stood in front of the Tiger King and challenged. So do you dare to defeat me? The three-legged Tiger King went mad, stuck out his tongue and said hastily, So they also have reinforcements. The Tiger King said as he rushed into Golden Ant, Because Golden Ant was too small, he didn't put Golden Ant in his eyes, it was really careless. The white fox couldn't help but call her big sister, but the black fox was staring at the battle between Golden Ant and the Tiger King. The black fox immediately recognized that guy was immersed in a layer of shiny golden light, a powerful giant mutant ant. No mistake, it was Golden Ant of Misty Mountain. Exactly, it was Golden Ant with the complicated love triangle with Tian Cam and White Tiger and the gossip news around the world. Two other members of the Tiger Clan rushed up first intending to use both quantity and form to overwhelm the enemy, right? Unfortunately, three plant tentacles rushed from somewhere, stabbing straight into the chest of these two tigers. With the thrust of the plant tentacles and the speed of the two tigers rushing in, this was really a fatal blow. These two characters had ended their roles. Tian Cam is always a solid rear for Golden Ant, but another tiger had circled behind Tian Cam intending to eat her. Oh, but another big foot is a solid rear for Tian Cam. That tiger was immediately crushed. Fresh blood gushed out. The dinosaur had arrived. Sorry for being a bit slow. Surely the dinosaur was cleaning up those tigers. Now, the battlefield was only left with the Tiger King and three people from Misty Mountain. The black fox looked at them and couldn't understand. Why were the main forces of Misty Mountain here? Immediately a voice of death rang out. It's because we want to expand our forces, make a deal with us, we will destroy the enemy for you. How about it? What do you choose? The mutant mantis started his work. But his appearance was so mysterious that it made the black and white foxes jump. On this side, Golden Ant also gave the Tiger King a choice. There were only two choices. One was to join Misty Mountain, two was to die. But the Tiger King was very arrogant, he said, I choose answer three. That is all of you die here. After saying that, the whole body of the Tiger King exuded a terrifying aura, extremely powerful. His mane emitted multicolored light. It looked very eye-catching. The Tiger King slowly approached Golden Ant with an arrogant demeanor, as if looking at a fish on a chopping board, while Golden Ant still stood there coldly. When the distance was only an arm's length, the Tiger King roared, Go die! and his deadly claws filled with powerful spiritual power swung up. The white fox seeing this worriedly said, That guy could be very strong, be careful. But Golden Ant had learned that attack is the best defense. Ah, but this situation doesn't need defense. Triple the power was activated. The beheading strike was activated. Boom! A terrifying blow, a pillar of spiritual power erupted tens of meters high. The troop of mutant chimpanzees on the rock looked down. The leading mutant chimpanzees seemed very warlike, said solemnly. It seems, we don't need to take action anymore. The black and white fox's eyes had turned white, seeing this scene. It was indeed a psychological blow. Golden and turned his back and walked away, while his opponent had faded in one blow. On a mountain range far away, above there was a tiger observing and watching. Under the cave... A large purple tiger was lying, indeed has the aura of an emperor. This is the first tiger king, transcendent second order peak. End of chapter 149